All right, welcome to another short video here. As you can see, bathroom faucet here is leaking uh, pretty heavy. So I'm just gonna go ahead and change the whole thing. I already have the replacement right here. So let's get to it. First and foremost, make sure you turn the waters off. If this is not tight enough, go outside, find your water meter and turn it off. Excuse the mess right here. Um, I'm actually basically cleaning after a tenant who moved out. Everything that's connected is what you're gonna disconnect so you can uh, connect the new one. Let me see up here. Okay, I see how this is. Let me see, I already disconnect this one right here. You see it? Make sure you got something right here to capture the water because you might have just, you know, just a little bit of water dripping as you uh, unscrew it as you take it off. If you remember my previous video, I ran into this problem too with those new faucets. Look. <laughs> the holes are too short. Yep, so I went to Home Depot, purchased the longer holes. So these is gonna fit for sure. I'm pretty sure it's gonna fit because they're long enough to reach um, the valve and the faucet. So let's go ahead and install them. Tighten them up. Um, let's just turn it on and see if there's any leakage. Turn the water on all the way. And turn it on over this way. Let's see. Yep, I don't see any leakage. All right, let's turn the water on and see from the top. Yeah. So the water's on here. There's no water coming down from anywhere up here. So let's go down here and check again. There's no leakage. So we are gravy. Good to go. See, that's how we do it, man. Thank you for watching this. If you like it, share, comment. Push the like button, subscribe to our channel that way you don't miss anything else. And we're gonna be posting those videos showing you how we do things over here. So thank you for watching. Have a good one. Bye-bye.